ain't it great? Here's tool 28. <laughs> this is a tire pressure gauge, a tire pressure gauge. We can put this on a tire valve and it'll tell us how many pounds per square inch are in that tire. This gauge happens to go to 60 PSI. This is great for car tires. Not so much a fire truck, but we can use it. We can try it. We can see if it'll work. But fire truck tires are supposed to have, at least this one, it's a 12,600 pound vehicle. It's supposed to have 85 pounds per square inch. Most cars are supposed to have between 30 and 40 pounds per square inch. Now I've got another thing here. This is a air inflator and tire gauge in one, okay? And uh, the idea, as you know, is to hook up the air hose. We're going to pull that sleeve back, push them together, and lock it in place. There we go. And then I can push the air's coming out of, this is called a Schrader valve, a, uh, a Schrader valve uh, air inflator. There it is, and it pumps out of both sides. And then there, it gives me a reading. And so as I, as I do that, that gauge is going to move around tell me how many pounds per square inch are in the tire. I'm not scared. Let's do it. I'm going to use both of them. Come over here to the fire truck. I'm going to take the cap off and you know everybody loses the cap when they're done but I'm going to set mine right there. I'm going to put the first one on. This one is nice because it holds the pressure in it so I can bring it back and show you. This one I'm going to put it on there and it just tells me real time and there's 65 and 65 is not enough it needs 85 so I can put some more in there I am getting close to 70 and there I am at 70 and I can keep going until I reach 85 Woo there we go now that's the air compressor and in the process of walking over here, oh no, the cap's still there. That's good, I didn't lose it. I always lose those caps. Take a look at this. The initial reading maxed out at 60 pounds per square inch, which I had a feeling it would. But it, this gauge is kind of neat because it holds the pressure in. So you can kind of bring it up and look at it, especially if you have to kind of reach down where you can't really see well. But then there's a little button on the side and that clears out the data. <laughs> so there you go and there you have it so this is a tire pressure gauge and this is an air inflator and that's what you're going to draw in your notes air inflator with with a gauge air inflator for tool number 28 ain't it great and a tire pressure gauge okay there you go there you have it happy inflating